Hello everybody and welcome back to some Mega Modded Gungeon. In this episode we're going to play as this guy, the Swindler. This is a character that I have yet to try, but he looks very, very interesting. I'm not quite sure what to think of him. Um, I'm not going to do the cheaty cheaties and take my extra stuff. I'm just going to go in as this character as he is and try him out. I'm very, very interested to see how exactly this guy performs. Um, from what I understand, this character is very money orientated, I believe. Um, so we'll see what that means. There is a few other modded characters I want to try here and there, but this one is one that's part of the, I believe, Frost and Gunfire mod, I think? I can't actually remember which part of a mod, which mod this is from, but I think it's Frost and Gunfire. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to try it out. I'm excited to try it out. Um, we do start with a shotgun, which is really nice. Um, we got barter. Allows shops to be re-rolled at the cost of 15 casings. That is actually fantastic, and yet it is Frost and Gunfire. Um, that's awesome. The sack here, a small stack containing what uh, little you got, it's prone to damage. So maybe we can drop coins and then, yep, just greed. So I'm guessing we get more money overall, but we can drop our money on being hit. It's what I would, what I would guess that means. The fact that the description is just yep might just be because this is still a beta character. Um... But I really, really love the idea of being able to reroll shops. I'm wondering if it'll reroll everything or if it'll reroll uh, like just items. I'm, I'm unsure. And I wonder if it can reroll other things into items. Either way, we're going to find out. Uh, so far, it looks like we are getting on average quite a bit more money than we normally would. Oh, we just picked up a sack there. Um, so maybe enemies can drop sacks that contain extra money. Right, let's have a look. Uh, 58. Yeah, they contain money. Okay, interesting. I like that. Also, by the way, I have to say, this is a really interesting starting weapon. It's a very rapid-fire shotgun that has moderate knockback and kind of low damage. Yes, okay, that is exactly what's going on here. We can indeed drop our money. So it's kind of like playing with the loot bag, which, for those of you that have seen the fateful Enter the Gungeon original series episode 70, you know... The loot bag. It will forever taint my view on that item. That was the saddest day. But yeah, it seems like we're able to get a ton of money of this guy, and I really like that idea. I wonder if I can reroll NPC shops as well. That'd be awesome. I'm, I, honestly, I'm really looking forward to playing this character. This this might be a guy that I play as fairly regularly, to be honest, because I already love the idea. Um. Shops are really fun in this game, but I feel like they're really hard to fully utilize because so much stuff is just way too expensive to be able to afford. If you ever find an S tier or even an A tier item on the first floor, there is like a solid 90% chance there's no way you're going to afford it unless you've got high curse. So it's kind of nice to have a character that has the potential to be able to afford some of those things. Um, I like that a lot. It does seem that we didn't start with a key as this character, which is... Oh, really? Um... It does seem that we, that we didn't start uh, with a key as this character, which is, of course, really, really odd. Normally, uh, every character starts with a key, but I guess this guy is all about bartering, all about trading. Kind of makes sense. But yeah, we're already up to 150. I think it's 15 per bag. And the bags seem to be about a 10% drop chance, maybe a little bit lower from what I've seen so far. We've got a first chest here. I'm just hoping to find the shop as soon as possible. I wonder if this ca character has any special shops available. Be interesting if this guy had a special shop that he could find. Like a special specific NPC for this character. That would be a lot of extra effort. I wouldn't expect it to be in this version of the character, but that could be something interesting. <clears throat> Here is our shop. Lovely. So we're at 155 right now. We got cubic shells, which I'm going to take. It seems like maybe we also have a shop discount as well. Makes reloading easier, but bullets of rectangular travel pattern. Okay, nice. We'll buy, um... Um, if you find a crack in a wall... Um... Excuse me? Why can't I buy this key? I am confused. We also rerolled this into the service weapon, which I'll check out. Whoa! This is an unauthorized, unusual... What the hell? This service weapon. Wield the gun. 
weapon. What the hell is this? This weapon is officially categorized as a FOP or firearm of power. A high um a highly anomalous anomalous highly powerful weapon. Despite not belonging within the Gungeon, something about the shifting nature of the Gungeon's uh, depths seem to soothe it. Interesting. It's only got 14 ammo. I'm really unsure as to why I'm not allowed to buy a key. That's very curious. I clearly have enough money. Maybe it's just that because you're able to reroll, you can only buy one thing per shot. But that kind of sucks. <laughs> I, I like... I, I kind of get it as a balancing thing, but goddamn, I want to be able to still buy a key. <laughs> We've got so much money now that we just can't spend. And I... Oh, wait, what? Okay. I can spend money to open chests. This changes everything. Okay, okay, okay. This no longer sucks. This no longer sucks. This is really cool. This guy, we have to purchase locks on chests. Explains why he gets so much money now. So the reason we're unable to buy keys is not because we don't have enough money, it's because you can't buy keys as this guy. We got the Grim Blanks. Um, killing an enemy erases all their bullets. Decent enough. And yeah, let's try this service weapon, which I'm... A little scared to fire, honestly. Um, it seems bad. <laughs> um, I'm guessing it's got more gimmicks to it than that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess. So far, not that impressed. <laughs> but I'm, I'm guessing based on its um, somewhat glitchy nature, as it said, that it's gonna have more to it than, um, than that. Also, this is a really cheaty way to hit, hit this guy. I also like the cubic bullets with this, because the, the the circular shot patterns move really weirdly. Nice. We got him. What in the hell is this thing? The Burning Sun. I think we've had the Burning Sun before, actually. Um... Let's let me fire it and see. I think I've had this before. Maybe not. Oh, yeah, I have. This thing's good. This thing's good. <laughs> this thing's a good room clearer. Oh, wait. Oh, I see now. This thing automatically recharges its ammo. Let me just try firing it. Okay. That's pretty cool. It recharges ammo over time. I see now. It doesn't suck. It's actually pretty cool. <laughs> that's like twice now already in this video that that's happened where I've been like, this sucks, and then immediately been proven wrong. <laughs> I just thought it did like really low damage and was a bit piddly. I was like, eh, it's not that good. But it's um, it's got a funky little thing. I wonder if it has infinite ammo or if it um, if it just it can recharge like every so often or whatnot but the interesting thing about this gun is if it does have technically infinite ammo that means it'll benefit from bonuses that infinite ammo actual infinite ammo weapons wouldn't normally benefit from while still having infinite ammo like do you know how if you have like the marine sidearm some bullet effects won't work with it and it can't find secret rooms stuff like that this one i imagine <coughs> will still be able to um this honestly this thing this thing's awesome. This thing shreds. On bosses it's not amazing, but on enemies like these, this thing kinda shreds. This is a really fucking cool weapon. I don't know when this was added to the mod, but god damn is it interesting. We also got a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a um which I'm unsure what this does. Um, who knows? I'm gonna guess every eighth shot does eight damage or something stupid like that. Or like, oh no, I, 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 okay, let, let me, let me try this one second. One, two, okay, wait, 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 let, let recharge. Oh, wait, the, 
The gun's mag was different then. One, two, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so every eight shots I fire uh, an eight, and I bet it does eight damage. I am willing to, I'm willing to bet that it does eight damage. Honestly, I could use this thing for the entire run. This thing's incredible. Although I do, I do want to use the burning sun a little bit because this thing is quite fun. Ow, bad hit. I could just leave ammo there. Ammo doesn't disappear anymore, so. This thing, this thing slaps. And we get whatever this is. Death Warrant. A death warrant granted to you by law. On it um, are the 10 billion signatures of all the gun dead that roam in the gungeon. Creates a reticle that locks onto enemies and increases damage dealt to them. The reticle will choose a new target one, uh, once it's selected and an enemy is killed. On room clear, spawns a reward based on the amount of selected targets killed. That seems really cool. So it's basically like a bounty target sort of thing. Like um, an item of a similar name in uh, Isaac. Okay, I'm going to try and play to the strength of this as much as I can. The visual effect for it is fantastic. Really, really cool. And then we got some extra casings. Honestly, casings aren't going to be a great reward for us. Also, um, what else was in the shop? Unfortunately, nothing. Um, it's a little bit of a shame that um, what one thing I, I've always I've always had this issue with Gungeon, and it, it, it very much um, it very much puts a damper on this otherwise very interesting character. Is that um, unfortunately shops just so often don't have shit to buy. I really ought to think that every shop ought to have one gun and one item available for purchase. I really do think so. I realise that that might sway the balance of the game, but shops are just so dull when you walk in them, and they're, they're just, they're only selling, like, armour and health, and that's it, and, like, some blanks. I got every single one of them there. Okay, so it's mainly dropping casings at the minute, but I imagine there can be some other interesting rewards. And we get this beautiful shotgun. I love this thing. We can either charge it up for a belch of fire, or we can just fire it normally to get some regular shots going out. Not the best to use against a literal piece of fire. Okay, what the fuck hit me then? Was it the laser guy? Oh my god, dude. It's happening. I'm, tr I'm dying. I'm, I'm taking damage trying to collect my goddamn weaponry. Honestly, I just need to use this thing. This thing's too good. Boss time. Probably don't want to use it for the boss. Let's use the Burning Sun, and then maybe this. It actually works in the boss too. How much damage does this do? Pretty fucking good damage, honestly. Okay, I keep not charging it up enough, and it's annoying me. It takes so long to charge that I keep just not quite charging it up enough. The eight shots are rather nice. <clears throat> and we get whatever the hell this is. Copper sidearm. Decent enough. A prime conductor of electricity. The bullets from this gun connect back to the wielder of the arc of electricity. Pretty nice. I like that. Um, we ought to grab this ammo up here as well, actually. Just for this bad boy. In fact, grab it for this instead and it'll fill up the other gun regardless. Right, good to go. 
Got some extra HP. And we are on our way. Right, let's go, go, go. To the next floor. To the next floor. Let's carry on down to the next floor. Taking a little while to load, unfortunately. Always the case. Always the case. Right. <clears throat> Honestly, just this thing's just so good. I do want to try out the copper sidearm for a little bit though. I think with the um, with the square bullet pattern thing, it could be kind of good. Also, does it have piercing? It looks really cool. I'll say that. I think it has piercing. That makes it a lot better than I thought it'd be. Interesting. Okay, this gun's gonna be pretty fun. Of course, it picked the one further away. Damn it, it picked the wrong one. Ah, oh, bloody hell. So, okay, I basically landed in where all the, the coins fell, so didn't lose out too much. It's honestly, it's kind of an interesting thing, really, because this character obviously drops a lot of money when he gets hit, but I actually think that maybe he shouldn't. <laughs> I feel like you get so much money given to you that you should just maybe lose it. Like... I, like, I feel like I've been hit a decent amount. <clears throat> I've been hit a decent amount. And I've basically not lost any money. So maybe either it should disappear quicker, or it should just not drop on the floor. Because it's quite easy to get money. Oh, this guy's been buffed. I was wondering why he was so fucking tanky. I'm really enjoying this gun. Look, boy. Got him. Seems like only monetary rewards for the death warrant, which is fine on most runs. On this run, it doesn't matter so much, to be honest, but uh, honestly, yeah, this is this gun is slapping right now. I don't know if the square ball is either what other thing giving it piercing or if it naturally has it. More ammo for it is lovely. Right. We got sprung, which I'm actually not, I don't care about that much. Blank stare. Um, okay, excuse me. The price is still the same. Mm, not sure how I feel about that. I, I will take this. I'm not sure how I feel about the fact that the price stays the same. Chance to slow entire rooms down. Yeah, it's pretty good, this. Ow. But yeah, kind of what I'm saying here is I just spent a fuckload of money and I got hit this room and I still have 118 casings left and it's only the room after the shop. It's just, it's kind of nutty. I feel like maybe there needs to be some balancing on how much money you lose on hit and how easy it is to just pick it back up. Because right now, it doesn't even feel like that big of a downside. It's pretty easy to get your money back. Maybe it should like spread it around the room rather than dropping it at your feet. So you actually have to go and chase after it and potentially get hit again, rather than it all just being at your feet and easily uh, grabbable. But yeah, I'm not I'm not sure if it's a bug or whatnot, but I'm not quite sure how I feel about you re-rolling an item and it keeping the cost of the original. If you re-roll an S tier, it basically means you can't, a lot of the time you can't afford it. Although is this character, not as big of an issue because as we've established, you can often afford things as this guy. Can I pay to open these? Okay, I can. Nice. 40. That's an active, right? Oh, no, no, it's not. Law book. I think this is just the, uh, 
Gunjurers attacks. Brave Noble Bullet Warriors of um, several different classes and destroy everything in sight. Nice. And we also get the D chest to reroll chests. Rather nice. Hello there. Um, Shelton's Blessing. Chance on kill to refund 5% of the gun's uh, ammo back to the gun. Chance scales with the gun's max ammo. Using the Shelton Shrine while holding this item grants a 15% damage up, reduces max ammo by 10%, and refills all your guns without giving any curse. I would like that. I would like that. Thank you. Yeah, this is cool. Like the fact that it's all like different classes and stuff. We got some wizards in there, got some warriors, some guys teleporting. Cool. Forty. Seems like all chests just cost forty. It doesn't care about the uh, the rarity. I thought it did at first, but it seems like that's not the case. I like the square travel pattern with these guys as well. <laughs> it's really making them quite wacky. Seems like a fantastic weapon, to be honest. A lot of fun. We've got our math man done. Oh, another one of these sacks there, thank you. <clears throat> Candy heart. Hearts and armor are cheaper. It's pretty nice. Pretty simple, but pretty nice. I think I'm gonna leave the uh, the blue chest and take the item instead. We've got no cash right now, so it's fine to grab it. I need to watch out for a shelter sh shrine as well and try and use it when I get the opportunity. Um, I think we want to use the the copper sidearm to be honest. Use the law book to start out, I think. I wonder if the bells could drop money here. I dropped the little sacks is what I mean. Also, this room being slowed down is very, very nice. Also, this seems to be able to destroy the mines pretty easily, so that's nice. I just like the little eight. Eight. <laughs> Every now and again when we're shooting, it's pretty funny. Yeah, this, thing's, this thing's slapping. Pretty easy stuff for us there, nice. Regular AK, rather nice. Use that as a room clearer for a little bit, I think. We'll check this out too. Take my beating. I think I'll take the all seeing eye, thank you, just for the secret rooms. Might as well at least pop that chest. Is that a chest without a teleporter in it? Why is there a chest room without a teleporter in it? What devious person did this? Right. Let's go. <clears throat> I'm hoping we get like a black market or something to really take advantage of this guy. I just, I've just got to remember that re-rolling isn't going to change the cost. Unless that's just a visual bug, maybe it does actually change the cost, but visually it doesn't. So, like, I, I didn't actually look how much money that took off me when I spent it before, because it said 90, but it might not have actually taken 90 from me. I don't know. I should, I should pay more attention next time. I should pay more attention. But yeah, so far, this character, very, very cool. Very much enjoying. Hopefully, that's another sack. Try and get it to like two, three hundred money this floor if we can. The extra bonuses we're getting from this, it's pretty nice too. It's a little hard to always actually 
get the one that it tells you to, but I'm trying my best. Luckily, it's not like it is on Isaac, where if you uh, if you don't kill the right one, you just lose the buff. Uh, you like lose the ability to use it. It's more so like um, it's more so like with this that you uh, just get less enemies to kill and therefore less things to go for. Armor, um, thank you. Hopefully, get a bunch of sacks here. God damn, the 888s is getting rather annoying. I had something drop in here. Uh, maybe, maybe there's a sack disappearing that I didn't see. Good. Got some of these gem things. Uh, it seems to have maybe broken the, the, the warrant thing. It's not. Changing targets anymore. Not quite sure what happened to it, but it's not changing targets anymore. And okay, now it is. I don't know what was happening last time. You had to go in D20, didn't you? AK is lasting a good amount of time here. I, I think it's because we're getting ammo back on the kills from that, that other item. I want that... Oh, you bastard. That's the problem. Right there. Get out of my way. Get out of my face. We got quite a lot there. We should get a good reward. Fucking shut up. Yeah, I do think it's helping with that ammo. Still only give five casings. I feel like the reward should have been a lot better there. <laughs> okay, finally, I have ammo on this thing. Try use this. I kind of want to save this for the boss, though. I, I know it's not got much ammo. Let's go back to the service weapon and see how that does. A little bit later on, so we'll see if it's still as powerful. It is. It's still just as powerful. Nice. Get one of these fellas. Oh god. The square bullets are gonna make this a fucking pain in the ass, aren't they? Yep. <laughs> Um, Ultramatic Gonstone, isn't this just the one that, yeah, this is the one that moves really fast, also. The old man. Ice bow. This thing trash. Bow weapons in this game just do not interest me in the slightest. Even though the, the, the ice bow is actually good utility because it allows you to um, freeze enemies, but it just, the charge up is just so long and the reload isn't, I, I don't know about the reload actually, but definitely the charge up is just like, oh my god, makes me want to kill myself. Yeah, sometimes it seems to grip onto a, a corpse like this look. Like, the, the targeting system kind of broke and tried to attach itself to a dead enemy. Eh, unfortunately this is an interesting item, but not all that useful for us. I realise I haven't used the D chest at all as well. It's just because I've not had too much need to, to be honest. I probably should have rerolled that, um... Should have rerolled that green one that we got. That blue one, sorry, from the, from the game, but... It is fine. It is fine. Good. 
good. And here's our shop. Lovely, lovely. Quite a lot to reroll here. So, desk fan. Rerolls it. Okay, reels everything at once, I see. Okay. Um, dungeon ant. No, thank you. Glock. A prize rifle. I like the idea of the prize rifle. Let's try and find out other chests before we start re-rolling again. Oh, what the heck? What costs those to spawn? Our shots are very bouncy, apparently. Oh, for fuck's sake, I got hit twice back to back there. Ah, oh, fuck you, you little shithead. Okay, this thing doesn't seem to do an awful lot of damage. This seems interesting. I'm not quite sure what the heads are about. I get that it's a reference to the prize thing, but like... Do I get anything for hitting them? It doesn't seem like it. What the heck? 40. Table tech amped cover. With special high tech and hopefully not flowerable new parts, these tables have been retrofitted as amped cover. Amped cover simultaneously nullifies incoming bullets and boosts outgoing bullets for an extra oomph. Interesting. I like it. I like the idea. Right. Um, this and then this. I've only got 30 bullets in this. I've only got 30 bullets in this as well. Okay, this... Honestly, this is going to be cracked against these guys, so just use it. It's not going to get much... Uh, not going to get much use out of it, but still. This should be really good against them, actually. Oh my god, this thing has such an insanely long charge-up. I keep forgetting how long it takes to charge up. The animation is slightly deceptive. It looks like it's charged, but it's not. I'm having a really hard time seeing what the hell's going on right now, I'll be honest. Honestly, my little my little Zuma boy, whatever you want to call it, is crazy good. The little um, one stone that's like moving at ridiculous speeds, it's destroying so much stuff. Okay, and we switch over to this maybe. Nice. Okay. Good, good, good. Like your old sniper. And a bit of ammo for probably the copper weapon. I like the copper boy. And then... Uh, let's just use the sniper for now. I don't really need to sell anything for money. I'm going to be getting a lot of money, I think. Right, let's keep going. Yeah, have to say, this character gets a massive thumbs up. Very, very fun. Very interesting. Much like. Much, much like. I do, I do, I do like him. Yeah, if there was a way to, like, stock shops more often, that'd be awesome for this character. But I don't know if that's plausible or not. That might be out of reach for modders. It just, it just annoys me so much when you've got, like, tons of money and you walk in a shop and there's just nothing. Like, great. This was worthwhile. I Like I said, I do understand that if all shops were stocked with, like, one gun, one item, it could potentially ruin the balance of the game somewhat. But I actually think, on the other hand, it would then make it an actual toss-up of do you want to buy more keys? Do you want to buy more help? Or do you want to be able to buy those items and guns? Because it's like... 
It's like if your if your chest is like uh, a green chest, but there's a B tier, uh, not a B tier, a C tier item in the shop that's cheaper. It's obviously a bit more than a key, but it's, it's a cheaper item. But you know what you're getting with that. Um, this is very horrible. You know what you're getting with that. Like it is a known quantity. It's the devil you know versus the devil you don't. You could get a really really terrible item out of your. Um, by the way, I have to say this room is not not cool. <laughs> I do not like this room. Um, you might get a really bad um, B tier item, or you could get a C tier item that you know that you like. I think that's better. Oh, really? It didn't fit through the gap? This room sucks. <laughs> what the fuck is this? I don't like this. Who made it? Thank God it's only one wave. I don't want to use this thing. This thing's just great. AK could be good. Yeah, let's just fill up the AK, why not? My service weapon back. Mini boss time. Oh, fuck. It ran out of ammo and I didn't realise. I was trying to shoot and nothing was happening. Oh, bollocks. Tits on a stick. Fuck. Shit on an ass. God damn it. Getting hit way too much there. But you see what I mean though? Like, I just got hit a fuckload. And I'm already up to 63 casings again. <laughs> it's just like, it's not even, the consequences of getting hit just like, it doesn't, doesn't matter. Who cares? <laughs> Obviously it's losing the health, but I mean like the money consequences just like me. Oh well. Um, more ammo for this, I guess. In fact, let's just use the AK for a bit, why not? Uh, actually, for the mini boss, what do we want to go for? Probably the copper boy. I still don't know if this thing is meant to pierce or not. It seems like it shouldn't, but it's fucking great that it does. But for a C tier, it's pretty insane. Okay, this is something we finally used the D chest on. Beautiful. Then we can open it for 40. I'm not going to open you yet, though, because we do have a cool shop here. Thirst bullets. That sounds like my sort of style. Bullets go boom. Gives the wielder a chance to fire, um... But burst of bullets around themselves. Interesting. Just use the AK to figure this out. Oh, like that. Okay, I see, I see. Okay, interesting. Got a red chest here, nice. Also got all the crazy stuff going on down there. Wait, what then what's the red chest? Wait, what's this room? I'm confused. Okay, no, we just haven't seen a chest room yet. I realise now, okay. I confused myself there quite massively, but I've, I've figured it out. Yeah, firing the best of bullets around you seems pretty good. I'm wondering if there's any guns that we could abuse that with. It might be really good with this thing, because the bullets bounce. Eh. More just visually distracting than anything. Maybe it's really good with this thing. This thing has like no range though, so also maybe not. I've lost quite a lot of money here, but don't worry, we'll get it back.
frog. Nothing in there I really want. Of course, I have the ability to re-roll the stuff in there too. I'm hoping if we're just a room full of blobs, so we can get like a ton of sacks and get like loads of money really early on. Well, that enemy looks really cool with that champion. And that uh, cursedness of them. Is that a champion or was it just highlighted? Might just, they might just be marks. Oh god. Oh god. Who's buffing you? Take me to your leader. What have I got that's making every enemy drop poison? I've only just realised and I'm not immune to poison. What is it that, that is doing that? It's been happening for a while. Oh wait, it's just the curse, isn't it? I've just got the curse on this floor. Silly me. Silly me. Charge. Bit good. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Sack was going wild. I don't know what this is. Sort of gilded pots or something? Kind of like gilded pots that can give us money, that's pretty cool. Nice. I think if you fully empty the ammo, it stops you from firing until it fully refills. It's probably better to not fully empty this thing. Nice. I've got a lot of chests in here. Good stuff. Right. Let's have a little look, see what we've got going on here. So we got these two, which I've seen before. This, this is actually pretty good. Uh, and then we got... Reloading on empty clip fires an aggressively homing shot, and then we also got Mimic Bullets. The miniature husk of an elusive Mimic Lord. You do 50% more damage, but your shots jam enemies they pass through. Okay. Oh, what? what? Um, I managed to somehow fail buying this door. Even though it did charge me. I exactly how does that work? I managed to fail buying a door. Is, is that something that's intentional? Because I wouldn't have thought so. <laughs> that seems not correct. The first shot's always a rocket. I like this gun. from that cat game, isn't it? Right, good stuff. Supersonic shots. This is ridiculous shot speed, isn't it? A thousand percent shot speed. We'll see how that works out. 
Copper gun away. Oh, actually, how's it how's it gonna work with this? Um, what the fuck? That is not intentional. Okay. Um, how about this? Eight. Interesting. That's just really fast. Eight. Oh god, that's kind of crazy. Eight. Interesting. Ah, that, that makes that this the copper thing way less, way less good. Shooting eight of these bastards works. Um, go with that, and then I want to try out this thing as well. <laughs> Terrible idea. What an awful idea I've just had. Also, I seem to have lost a lot of health from somewhere. I like it when it fires out all the extra dudes. It's lovely. Works really well with this gun. It's very cool when I just fire at a swarm of them approach. It's lovely. Right, what's gonna actually kill the boss here? Because I genuinely don't... I'm, I'm not sure. We have so much to go at. Um, I guess I tried the, the Copper Boy. Oh, that is so fucking cool. That was awesome. It seems that the ones that the ones that fire as extras don't get affected by the shot speed bonus, which is actually a good thing. Honestly, supersonic rounds is messing me up. I'm just going to drop it. <laughs> it's just not good for us. It, I did actually tell Never Named recently, um, we were going through a lot of his item effects and seeing which ones needed tweaking, which sprites needed guzzying up. And one of the things I said is, supersonic shots is too much shot speed. It makes most guns not function correctly, and I stand by that. It, it definitely does. It, it's still a cool idea to have a, like, a high tier item that, um, that is able to, like, do that, but I still think, yeah, it's, it, it could do some tweaking. Um. Oh wait, I'm confused. Did I just te I just teleported and lost like all my money, right? Or did I only have twelve to begin with? I thought I had like a hundred. Okay, I'm gonna try and do boss rush here. I'll be honest, I'm not I'm not all that confident in boss rush. Boss rush, you know what I meant. You know what I meant. Shut up. Ooh, nice. Okay. Um, probably ammo for this thing, I'll be honest. I don't think any of those do anything for us. I don't know what patience does, and I don't know what greed does. Gunslinger's not very good. If only you could pick them up and look at the item descriptions. Wouldn't that be... Wouldn't that be just something? Right, let's try and do bullet hell. I don't know why I call it boss rush. I wasn't planning on doing bullet hell this run, actually, but once I unlocked something for this character, I'm like, heck, hang on a minute. There might be an unlock for killing the lich. And I haven't fought the lich in, in a while, um, apart from the, the gunslinger's past in the recent episode. I say episode. You can't really call a six-hour video an episode, can you? But there you go. Um, either way, I, I completely forgot to mention it this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was, that was a lot of fun to record. Oh god, uh, I just realised we've got the whole jamming bullets thing going on, so maybe this won't be so good. Uh, 
I don't know. I'm gonna kind of continue using this thing. This, this, this thing was pretty good for room clearing. Oh, you've got to be kidding me that that hit me. Health is not looking good. I'll be perfectly honest. Health is not looking good. The way that this, um, the way that these, uh, like, explosive shots that shoot out, like, six shots work is a bit buggy with this, because what I believe it does is it takes the first shot of the magazine and fires it multiple times, which with almost every gun works perfectly normally, but with this gun, it fires out the missile multiple times. Oh, for fuck's sake. Dude, you can't do this to me. This is some hot bullshit. Get out of the way. Fucking die. That was horrible. I'm gonna need some HP game. Things ain't looking good for me. So like, even when it's not the first shot of the magazine, look. You'll see that it still fires the explosives. As if it was the first shot of the magazine. Dude! Y'all need to leave me the fuck alone. Oh, bugger! When did the fuck you come from? Oh my god, okay, we are we are absolutely burned at this point, I think. I think resistance is futile. I think this is the end for us. Why isn't this working anymore? It's not firing shots like it normally does. We're firing a puff of smoke. Really, boy? You know I don't need this right now. Such a cool boss, though. Such a cool boss. He dropped me a little bit of health. I like that. He also dropped me a red chest, which I'll take. Cheese bullets. Cheese underscore bullets, actually. Bullets made of cheese. Oh, this is pretty good. We have the unchisening rounds every now and again. Pretty useful. I don't know why I'm picking up the money like I need it. It's literally useless now. I still want it. <laughs> I still want it. Um, I'm pretty sure we're going to go this way. <clears throat> Honestly, the, the, um, what's it called? This item here, Grim Blanks, is fantastic on, um, those, these later levels. Because I've got all these jammed bullets and I just kill the enemy and they all disappear. It's really helping me. Uh, excuse me. There's an enemy in the wrong room there. This is bullshit. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Could you die? Holy shit, could you die? Could you be cheesed or something? Where's the buffer boy? There he is. Oh, shithead. I think you're so cool.
Um, I'm just going to waste the rest of the ammo in this side, no, it's empty. I don't want to be switching to it back. So Oof, that looks cool. Eight. Okay, this gun really isn't doing it for me, is it? We honestly don't have that many other weapons that are going to work really well here. I guess I could just try using the, the regular shotgun we start with and see if that does enough. Seems pretty, like, because with a 50% damage bonus, it seems pretty good. This is... Nah. This room's bollocks, man. Nah, 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 nah. Don't make me roll over some bullshit pits, please. I do not like this. Yeah, this is some fat horse shit. How about you get out my life? I do not like this. Rooms like that do be pretty horrible. How am I not cheesing this guy yet? Come on now. Get cheesed. Okay, cheesing him probably isn't a good idea. Oh, come on! You're open! Don't be like that. Ah! I'm really fighting for this, but I already know that I've died. Okay, this is also pretty horrible. I don't know what the fuck's going on in this room, but it's too much for me to handle. Yeah, honestly, deleting the bullets when the enemies die is saving my ass. I'm still dead, though, because I can... Like, his bullets are going to get jammed, and it's going to fuck me up. Anyways. On to glory. We have two blanks. Unfortunately, the cheesing isn't working on him either. Okay, nice. I love this gun with this ammo thing, the, the, the firing the extra bullets. It's really cool. <laughs> really enjoying it. I still, I think the second phase is where I'm going to die, though. It's going to be too easy for me to jam bullets and kill myself. Especially when, I'll be honest, I don't even remember how to fight this guy. Okay, managed to get that phase, okay. Gotta admit, I'm not super confident on this phase, though. Um, right, I've said that all of the phases so far, I'll be honest, but... What other weapon do we want to use here? We need to figure that out, like, right now. Almost died right there. Uh, I got hit by something. It wasn't a gem bullet, but I got hit by something. No! Yes! Holy shit! Oh, that was so close. I don't know if there's an unlock for this, but I still feel really good about myself for getting that win. That was good. That character slaps. That's a really fun character. 
I really enjoyed myself there. That was super, super cool. And yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy that, because yeah, I had an absolute blast. That is probably my favourite modded character I've played thus far, I've got to say. Very, very polished, even though it's only a beta. And um, yeah, really, really interesting. The, literally, the only complaint I could have is, I just like more places to spend my money. Like, more things to buy, more NPC shops, maybe a shop in the bullet hell, I don't know. That'd be super cool. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.